Here's a 2018 Ford Expedition Limited Max, 37,000 mile, one owner with a clean Carfax. And um, I believe they call this Caribou Brown. It's really, really a nice vehicle here. This is a complete redesign in 2018. Uh, kind of went away from the classic Expedition look, has a little more angular look. Uh, I hate to say a little bit in comparison to, to like a Chevy Tahoe in the, in the body sides, but a really sharp looking vehicle and all kinds of new features and look here uh, for this 18 Expedition. But let's just kind of go around and show you what we got. Uh, this is the Limited, so we have, it's a high level trim. You can see we got the high intensity headlamps there. We have the LED fog lights, a lot of chrome embellishments. Like I say, a complete redesign here on the cosmetic look. We'll work right around to the side. You can see it does have the upgraded 20 inch, um, actually maybe 22 inch, no it is a 20 inch alloy wheel here um, with a brushed aluminum face. Also tires are about half tread or so uh, on these uh, open countries all the way around. Let's continue around to the side here. Um, we really uh, do a, focus on the wearables we do a used car mechanical check on all our vehicles uh, you can find the results of that inspection signed up by the technician that performs it in the glove box of all of our cars we want to make sure that all of our vehicles are uh, mechanically reconditioned as well as cosmetically you can see a full power seat there also you probably notice the power running boards that open when i open the door of course we have ebony, ebony leather with offset white stitching we have the dark charcoal carpeting. We got some uh, chrome embellishments and wood grain embellishments throughout the interior of the dash here to let you know you're driving a premium trim. Two bucket seats, full console flows in between. Again, you can see the wood grain and the satin finishes, the upgraded sound system. Uh, very, very uh, nice vehicle here. Let's take a peek in through. And as you can see, we got uh, the ability to actually have eight passenger seating on this vehicle, the two front, and then we have three passengers here in the middle row. And then you also in the back, as you can see, have the three passenger seating. A simple uh, slide uh, here with the front seat. You can see how it flips forward, uh, gives you the access uh, to the rear there. Um, also wanna show you on the back of this console, you do have climate control, there's USB ports. Uh, we also got your heated rear seat buttons here. So uh, 12 volt power supply, <coughs> excuse me, everything you need to keep your rear occupants uh, climate controlled and connected. Uh, like I say, we have the Toyo tires matching all the way around, half tread or better, working our way around to the back. You can see the max badging there also does have the uh, tow package and the ultrasound sensors with the backup camera. Uh, we do have a power lift gate here. Uh, just press that with the remote. Uh, simple uh, one touch there brings up the power lift gate also has a, a power uh, folding uh, second and third row seats here, which is a nice feature as well. Um, of course, 60, 40 fold down on that seat, give you a little more room and you do have your jack tools here, spare tires underneath, a little bit of area there to keep some of your belongings. Also have a button on the back lift gate here. You can close it and open it that way as well as so we continue around to the side again just want to show you the toyo tires matching all the way around half tread or better and as we take a peek through the passenger side you can see it's very clean interior no rips tears stains or odors the previous owner was a non-smoker and then let's take a look through the Front seat before we do, all Fords give you the combo entry exit, allows you to leave your proximity key in with the engine running. Uh, if you're making a quick little wear and a full power seat, including lumbar on this side as well. Also, we guarantee two uh, keys here at Thomas. You can see it does have your um, keyless entry, has your factory remote start. There's a button for your power lift gate and your panic. Uh, also got your windows, mirrors, locks with memory seating, programmable to three uh, settings. Is integrated with the key fob, so adjust your mirrors, your steering wheel, uh, your preset radio stations, all with the touch of an unlock or lock button. Uh, we'll set everything to your preference. There's your upgraded sound system. Let's go ahead and jump in the truck here. We'll start it up. Just simple proximity key, put your foot in the brake, press the start button. Also want to show you, we do keep a copy of the auto history report on the dash. See so one owner, no accidents there. Um, let's continue the tour again. Ability to drop your headrests here. If you need a little more visibility, there's another button for your power lift gate. Button for your fogs there, automatic headlamp control. Buttons here to um, dim uh, your cluster. Have an electronic parking brake there, power pedals. 
Uh, we got stem to the left, intermittent wiper washers, high beams, and turn signals. Control pad to the left here. You can see right now we're on trip and fuel. We can also go over here to the vehicle information, tow information, off-road angles, different customizable settings, and then your favorites. Uh, you can kind of set it up as you want in your customizable dash. We also got your audio controls on the right side, cruise controls on the lower left. Got your Bluetooth hands-free sync controls here on the lower right. Uh, this does have um, the upgraded uh, radio with full factory navigation, as you can see there. Uh, let's go back to home. Um, there we go. And you can see we also have your audio, AM, FM, satellite, radio, uh, USB connections, Bluetooth compatibility. There you see it does, it does come equipped with a heated steering wheel as well, dual climate control. Of course, you have the ability to pair your phone. Again, there's your navigation, your download, customizable apps, and your radio customizable settings. Also have downhill descent control, the ability to shut off your traction control, hazard lights, ability to start off, shut off the auto stop feature uh, where the engine will shut off to save uh, fuel efficiency at stops. Uh, we do have your uh, audio control analog switches as well as your climate control analogs, uh, heated and cooled seats, driver and passenger. Uh, we got your shifter for your um, uh, transmission is a turn dial down here with manual mode and the plus and the minus which allows you to select any of the gears of the multi-speed transmission. It's your electronic shift on the fly four-wheel drive transfer case. Ability to shut off your park sensors. Uh, two more USB ports up there, two large cup holders. Center console is going to give you a little tray, very deep well to keep some of your belongings, another 12-volt power supply in there. But this console is so big, I mean you can fit a PC in there. Uh, as large it is, as it is. Uh, auto dim on your rear view. Does have the full pano roof, as you can see, all the way back for all your occupants. Um, that is actually controlled here on the slide and the shade with these buttons here. Uh, it does have uh, your uh, illumination uh, to the side exits and entrance, as well as your LED uh, map lights. And of course, we have illuminated visors. Uh, we also got your home link there. So really, uh, you know, everything in this vehicle set up. Uh, we got blind spot, as you can see by the, the mirror indicators there. So very, very well equipped. Let's go ahead and uh, pop the hood here just to show you the engine that's on this in this vehicle. Probably a 3.5 liter EcoBoost twin turbo. Looks to be what we got. Uh, excellent output and efficiency on this twin turbo 3.5 EcoBoost. You also can see no exhaust leaks, fluid leaks, no corrosion on the electrical terminals. Very well maintained uh, by the previous owner. Shut the truck off. We'll get into the last portion of the video. Um, now, as I explained earlier, we keep the mechanical evaluation in the glove box, signed off by the technician. I showed you a copy of the auto history report on the dash. The last part of making informed buying decisions is cosmetic appearance. That's my job now is to be your eyes and ears. Going to do a quick little walk around, show you any minor imperfections this vehicle may have. Uh, not many. Obviously, all vehicles are going to have one, like a little stone chip there. Um, I actually don't think that's a stone chip. No, it's coming off a little bit of marker there. But uh, but these this type of the part of the video goes pretty quick. We only try to buy the cleanest uh, off lease vehicles uh, from either the manufacturer. A couple little chips on that door edge, um, or uh, large fleet companies. Um, so. No signs of any prior pain. All the body lines are nice, straight, and clean. A little scratch right there. Um, like I said, it has a clean audit history. So usually this part of the video goes pretty quick. Other than a couple little minor stone chips as I'm showing you here. We have the dents pulled on the body panels. I noticed one little dent on one of these trim pieces here. I'll show you on the passenger side on my first walk around. But all in all... Scuffs right there from loading and unloading cargo. We buffed out a little corner scratch there. Uh, a couple of little touched up places there. Uh, this trim molding right here has a little dent in it. And there's actually another one right here on this trim molding on this door. Um, those are the only dents that I noticed. 
like I say, a couple little minor stone chips like those too. But all in all, guys, excellent light new alternative here. A couple little places of bug damage here. A few stone chips on the front. All your used vehicles are going to have little tiny things like this. But uh, like I said, all in all, excellent light new alternative. Still does have the remainder of the powertrain warranty transferable from Ford to the next owner. So you can buy this vehicle with confidence. If you're interested, a few ways of getting a hold of us, come visit us at 21518 Great Cove Road in McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania. Look us up on the web at www.thomasata.com. Give us a call at area code 717-485-4224. Again, my name is Kevin Richards. I appreciate your time watching this video. I hope you found it beneficial and I wish you an excellent day.